So this is a second attempt at uh, converting this display. The first one I was polling the select lines, now I'm using interrupts to control the teensy. And it's a lot more stable and it's a lot more solid. And uh, the values seem to be very good. So if we go into bank mode, we've got a bank there. And we can go into the presets as well. Back to the banks and we can go through the patches. And we can select a bank and it flashes as it should. And we can do something like a copy. Which gives you a message because the protect is on. If you switch it to unprotected and then do a copy. Copy action completed. So that's those messages done. Uh, I don't have a cartridge to test, but I have actually done the cartridge as well. And um, parameters as pitch bend one to seven. And you'll see that the uh, if you choose the next parameter, say VCF cutoff, the parameter flashes to tell you that um, there's been edits made, like the old dot flashed on the uh, LED display. Uh, we can change the cutoff and it's very quick to respond, which is quite nice. It was very slow before. Now it's a lot quicker and that keeps up with the speed of the LEDs. Now it seems to work fine. Tested all the parameters. And one thing I missed on the original one was not only the MIDI channel, which you need to be in bank mode to do, MIDI Omni, but also the MIDI pages, which I've forgotten. So I've added these in now.